Prime Minister and Youth Development Ministry meet with the NYC. Development in the South continues with the Swazal Housing Project. St. Lucia sprinter Julian Alfred checks out the new sporting facilities. And the Prime Minister commends Wasco for improving the water supply. Let's take a look back at the week that was in the Prime Minister's weekly diary. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shastny and the team from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports met with the National Youth Council Executive this week to discuss the national youth policy and the various government programs, initiatives and projects which benefit the nation's young people. The meeting follows a letter written by the NYC to the Prime Minister concerning the status of the youth policy in its current form. The discussions were very fruitful with the NYC and the government agreeing on the way forward. Uh, moving forward, the National Youth Council is going to be working very closely with the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, of course with the advice and with the consult of the young people of St. Lucia to ensure that that work program actually um, is implemented in a way that it speaks to um, something that benefits as many young people as possible. That by September 1st, that work program would have been identified. And then we've always been interested in having a youth summit. The purpose of the youth summit is for the ministry and the National Youth Council and on all the other youth organizations to, to review their work programs and then to submit those work programs and make presentations in front of all of the government ministries, all of the um, uh, statutory bodies, and more importantly also international organizations so that basically we're all working on a, a coordinated platform. And so there are some recommendations that we've certainly made, um, but those need to be digested by the National Youth Council. Uh, and then hopefully now we have a, a, a very clear working program moving forward. Later in the week, the Prime Minister joined Invest St. Lucia in Swazelle for their newest land development project, the Lafag Development. The Lafag Development offers both residential and commercial use lots and runs along approximately 28.4 acres of flat land and comprises 114 lots, ranging in size from 4,193 to 26,000 square feet. Prime Minister Shastney congratulated Invest St. Lucia and Investment Minister as well as Swazel Saltibus MP, Honorable Bradley Felix, for their commitment and dedication to ensuring that the land development project was launched despite the setbacks of COVID-19. Prime Minister Shastney spoke empathetically about the development of not just Swazel, but the West Coast and of the government's commitment to the South. St. Lucian superstar sprinter Julian Alfred got a chance before she headed back to the United States, where she attends the University of Texas, to view the ongoing rehabilitation works at the Sufre Mini Stadium. The stadium is being upgraded to an international FIFA-approved football field with a 400-meter track, which will ensure St. Lucia secures international football and athletics competitions. The planned upgrades include the installation of special turf to meet international match competition requirements, pitch lighting, a scoreboard system, press and broadcast positions, grandstands, dressing rooms, a media center, and a ticket booth, among others. The government is also working on the Deriso football field and the Miku playing field and the Denry Village cricket and football fields. Alfred, who this year won three All-American awards for the 2019-2020 NCAA athletics season, was elated to tour the facility with Prime Minister Shastney and says she looks forward to running the track competition at home. It is always almost a brand name that Wasco, Kodloa, La Plica Tobe, Panilu, Soleil Cachofe, Panilu. Was talking less of my fair and defeat was. Well, my dear friends, today is the time. It's a new beginning, a new era for the South. And we are indeed Wasco Southern Services and the rest of Wasco are indeed grateful to be part of this new development. Later on Thursday afternoon, Prime Minister Shastney headed to Viewfort to mark the start of Phase 1 of the Viewfort Water Supply Redevelopment Project on the grounds of the water treatment plant in Beauceju. 
several commercial and institutional enterprises, together with an estimated population of 20,000 persons, benefit from this water supply. The Prime Minister explained that the project is intended to greatly improve the supply of water and support the ongoing development of the South. Some of the components of Phase 1 include the rehabilitation of the existing upper intake and the building of a new water intake at Grace, construction of a new water treatment plant to treat 2.4 million gallons of water a day, and the construction of a new control building and a new generator transformer building at Beauceju. On Friday, the Prime Minister joined the leading post-cable news, media, entertainment company in the U.S. Cheddar to discuss testing protocols for the Caribbean and the outlook for the tourism industry. Prime Minister Chastney has been an advocate for increased testing and in particular, the implementation of rapid pre-boarding airport testing for passengers. The Prime Minister's week ended with a Friday full of taking stock as the Performance Management Delivery Unit, PMDU, held a full day review exercise covering key initiatives under the six key results areas, namely health, crime, education, infrastructure, tourism and agriculture. The stock take sessions helped the government assess the initiatives under the Medium Term Development Strategy 2019-2022 and to agree on clear actions going forward. The Prime Minister was joined at the sessions by key stakeholders from the relevant ministries and members of PMDU. Now you're up to date on the Prime Minister's schedule. Join us every week for a review of the Prime Minister's weekly diary. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Nicole MacDonald.